I'd like to call to order the invocation by Councilmember Scott Irwin and the Pledge of Allegiance by Councilmember Vince Maggio. Okay. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day that you've given us, Lord, and for the blessings that you've bestowed on Bossier City. We thank you for each person that is at this council meeting today. Lord, our hearts are heavy as we learn of uh, Tracy Ponder, our public information officer who's who is uh, suffered a heart attack and is in the hospital lord we just pray that she strengthens lord that the doctors have wisdom and we pray for peace for her family lord and lord we we pray for our city and our nation as we battle another wave of the covid virus we pray lord for solutions and and for unity and and for wisdom on how the best way to uh, address this serious issue to our country and lord we pray for wisdom for our nation and our state and our our city council in this meeting today in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. okay we say the pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Scouts, I'm going to take my mask off. If you want to just slide down, get away from me, that's fine. Just so I can talk. Hey. Uh, roll call. Mr. Montgomery. Here. Mr. Smith is on virtually uh, he he will be participating in the meet, meeting virtually today but he cannot vote uh, mr Irwin here mr darby here mr williams here mr free here mr maggio here in accordance with louisiana open meetings laws and the adopted bozier city council meeting rules resolution the city council asks for order and decorum at our meetings please silence your cell phones Anyone wishing to address the city council on any agenda item may approach and state their name and address for the record and shall be permitted three minutes to make their comments on particular items that's up for discussion with up to four speakers per side. All other audience members are asked to please observe the meeting quietly and if there is a need for audience members to hold a conversation or take a phone call, you're asked to please step out of the meeting. City council appointed sergeant at arms have been instructed to maintain decorum and ask anyone in violation to step out of the meeting in order to maintain orderly conduct of the meeting. Councilman, we did a motion to approve the minutes. Do we have any add-ons? We have one add-on. That's going to be the next thing after okay. a minute. Okay. Approve the minutes of the July 20th meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Council, please cast your vote. No, sir. Public comment. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> any comments from the public? <laughs> All right, Council. Any comments from the <laughs> Council? Please cast your vote. Sorry. Motion carries. Council, we have one requested add-on. Uh, adopt a, it would be number 13 under new business. Adopt a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign any and all documents required for the creation and administration of the East Bank Cultural District. And this item is being requested to be added on due to the deadline on the application. I move that we add this item to the agenda. I'll second it. Do we have any anybody from the audience like to say anything about this? Council, any comments? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries to add that item on. Now I need a, uh, a motion to approve the agenda as amended. So moved. Second. Council. Public comment. Any comments from the public? Any comments from the council? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. No bids today? No bids today. All right, unfinished business. Adopt an ordinance approving an amendment to the Unified Development Code Conditional Use Regulation, Article 3.3.2, final reading. So moved. Second. Second. Council, any questions? 
Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt an ordinance to approve report a final change order for the Melrose Extension and Plantation Drive project. Final reading. So moved. Second. <clears throat> Any question from the council? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt an ordinance to appropriate $400,000 to come from the Riverboat Gaming Capital Project Fund to be used towards expanding the parking lot at the Bossier City Municipal Complex. Final reading. So moved. Second. I think we talked about this a little bit last week, Council. Do you have any more questions? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt an ordinance to fund improvement to the Shady Grove and Rome Street lift stations at a cost of $464,000 to come from the LDEQ loan CS2211032 and the Sewer Contingency Fund. Final reading. So moved. Second. Council, any questions? Any questions from the audience? Please cast your vote. New Motion business. carries. New business. Adopt a zoning ordinance, first and final reading, favorable by MPC. Petitioner Richard Thornton, Thornton's Blackwater Coffee Liqueur LLC. Location 1062 Pearl Drive, Bossier City, Louisiana, City Council District 4. Request zoning amendment to change zoning classification from I-1 light industrial to I-2 heavy industrial on a 1.8 tract 1.8 acre tract of land, more or less, for a manufacturer of blended liquor for production and wholesale. So moved. Blackwater Liquor, and, and uh, Mr. Richard Thornton is here, and we'd be happy to answer any council questions that uh, are related to that matter. You need to state his name and address. No. Yeah, please state your name and address. Yes, sir. Uh, Holland Shoto, 628 Stoner Avenue, Shreveport, LA, 71101. Council, do you have any questions? I don't have a second. Oh, second. I'll second it. Council, do you have any questions? Audience. Mm -hmm. Any questions from the audience on this issue? <clears throat> Skip. Where is the uh, owner? I'm sorry, sir. Are there owners in, in the uh, Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Mr. Richard Thornton, city director. Right Perfect. Great. Thank you. Thank y'all. Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. <clears throat> Adopt a zoning ordinance, first and final reading, favorable by MPC. Petitioner Maria Oriana, location 2292 Barksdale Boulevard, Suite E, Bossier City, Louisiana, City Council District 3. Request zoning amendment to change the zoning classification of a certain tract of land from B2 limited business to B3 general business for an automotive repair shop. <coughs> so moved. Second. Ms. Carlotta, let me ask you a question, please. Is this going to be in the far end where the, where the uh, uh, rolling doors are down in yes. the building? Yes, it's going to be in the bays, yes. <coughs> what about the, the fence? Are they, have they finished the fence yet, or do they have to put a privacy fence up? Um, they don't have to put one up. It was already commercial, so they won't have to put up a new fence. I used to know where there was a residence back there. You know how it's a little trailer park. And uh, you somebody started putting a, wood, a wooden fence up, and like they stopped about halfway. Did y'all start putting up a fence? That was actually the area where there used to be an old uh, fence, and I started replacing them because it was completely down. Okay, so there's, there's no requirement to finish that? Correct, no. What about, another thing I worry about is because down the street they have just a bunch of wrecked cars sitting out there. You know, and we don't need any more wrecked cars or cars sitting there for a year trying to get fixed, you know? Yes, the contingency we, was oh, no, that no. all the work would have to be the, done in the no, bays. this is going to be okay. work at the man. Okay. I already got the permit to turn the next 
six months to fence the whole property. So, because we have a lot of traffic from the back of the street. Yes, you do. And it's dirty and all that. So that's the reason. Okay. But it costs a lot of money right now. So. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We're going to do it as soon as possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Council, any thank more you. questions? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Introduce an ordinance amending ordinance number 73 of 2021 to include change order number one in the amount of $33,403.18 for the Waller Avenue lift station first reading. So I second. Council, any questions? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Introduce an ordinance appropriating $300,000 from the EMS Capital and Contingency Fund to purchase three chassis for ambulance remounts. First reading. So moved. Second. <coughs> Brad. Chief, you got anything you need to say about this? Come on up here, Brad. <laughs> hey, Brad. Council, this uh, we did three years ago, uh, and we kept the chassis because you remember it takes so long to get chassis, and they already told us they're north of 12 months out from getting them if we when we place this order, and our warranty doesn't start until we send them to remount them with the box on the back. So we just set them at the garage until we need them, and then we pull a chassis. So this will get us by for three years, really four years, a year from now. We used our last one, it's down south getting uh, remounted now, so we won't use the first of these for a year from now. So We're just gonna be in the queue to get them. Get ahead of the. Yeah, it's taking so long to get them a Freightliner chassis now. It's like we got, a, they said a year or a little longer for, the, for us to take delivery of them. All right, any more questions for Chief? Thank you, Chief. Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Introduce an ordinance to amend ordinance number 61 of 2021 to correct the year of the Ferreira Inferno pumper. First reading. So moved. Second. Council, this was just a. Uh, Housekeeping. Yeah, just a housekeeping area too. We had to sold it to Streetport, correct, Chief, and uh, had the wrong year on there, so so they can get it tied, or we had to do ordinance to change the to change the year on it. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from the council? Please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution authorizing the hiring or promotion of a recreation maintenance worker one and backfilling any position this may, may create for the Parks and Recreation Department. First and final reading. So moved. Second. Any questions, Council? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution authorizing the hiring of a wastewater treatment plant operator for the Public Utilities Department. First and final reading. So move. Second. Any questions, Council? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution authorizing the hiring of a maintenance mechanic for the wastewater treatment plant in public utilities. First and final reading. So moved. Second. Any questions, Council? Any questions from the audience? Please cast your vote. Motion carries. 
adopt a resolution authorizing the hiring of two police officers due to resignation of two police officers <coughs> for the Bossier City Police Department. First and final reading. So moved. Second. Council, any questions? I forgot about Chris. Chris, is he on? I'm sorry. Chris is here. Chris, have Chris. you had any comments about anything yet? Uh, no, I'm good for right now. Chris, just holler if you got anything, okay? <laughs> uh, any questions from the audience? Please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution authorizing the hiring of one officer and the promotion of one officer to sergeant and one sergeant to lieutenant for the Bossier City Police Department. First and final reading. So moved. Second. Council, do you have any questions? Any questions from the audience? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution nominating for confirmation by the Bossier City Council, Wade L. Rich, as the city's director of public works. First and final reading. So moved. I'd like to make the motion that uh, we continue this item until August 17th. Is that the next meeting? Yes, sir. August 17th is the next meeting. Second. Um, President, may I say something? You may, Mayor. Go okay. Ahead. Can I ask what the reason behind this is? Yeah, we have a compliance issue with the charter. And that is? We're investigating. So y'all gonna hold back the city again? Mr. Chandler, I don't think you are one to sit here and talk about holding the city back. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said it as well. Okay, guys, just uh, someone had a question about it. All right, well, I asked the question, it is answered. But why are we keep on, I put somebody up, y'all always put I believe under the charter, <laughs> that we are charged with making sure that everything that comes on this agenda is confirmed and obeys what our charter says, Mr. Chandler. Uh, but like last week, it seemed like everybody was pretty well happy with it, ha happy with it. Well, there's certainly things. That's why they're put on the agenda so that people can ask questions. So last week didn't mean nothing, so it's-, it's Mr. Chandler, I'll say again, the reason that things are brought forth and there's time for the public. Uh, Phyllis, would you please inform Mr. Chandler of the rules as far as publication, giving notice to the public so that they may respond? We have to give public notice of the meeting on any agenda items 20, at least 24 hours prior to the agenda being, um, prior to the meeting. And so at that point, we sent it out. I sent out the agenda last Thursday at 5 p.m. And that was the t at that point. That's when the council could start asking questions because that's what's officially when the official agenda went out. And they knew for sure what was on the agenda. It's it's nothing against uh, Mr. Rich, Mayor. Believe me. Uh, like said, Is we it was against on, me? No, we was on the we was in there on the interview with you, <coughs> and it was a good interview. Uh, waiting to hire him uh, again. When somebody asks a question, we got to get it get an attorney's opinion, uh, and. Uh, we just want to make sure we're clear on it. That's all. Any questions from the council? Mr. President, may I ask a quick question? Sure, Chris, go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm having a little bit trouble hearing on my end uh, what the reason for the uh, delay was. I was hoping maybe Ms. Phyllis could uh, clarify that for me. The, the council, Mr. Montgomery, uh, said that a question has came up whether or not it's in compliance with the charter, and they want to. Mr. Williams said they're going to get an attorney's opinion to verify that it is that this an appointment is within the charter parameters. Is that correct, Mr. Williams? That is correct. Okay, so the I'm confused. So the, the or we're questioning whether the mayor has the authority to appoint a director of public works. No, 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 Chris. The, the charter. I, I can't state what it says. It says it will be have an engineering degree or a field or a field of engineering. Uh, again, this, this guy has tons and tons of experience. Okay, so we have to get an opinion. We will get an opinion. Uh, 
just to make sure we're legal. That's all. Nothing against hey, Mayor, that, nothing Mr. against Smith? Mr. Rich. Yeah, so the, so the, the question is revolving around uh, is if his, if his qualifications match what the charter calls yeah. for. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. All right, so Mr. President, may, please. I, may I suggest that the city clerk provide to Mr. Mayor a copy of the charter and make sure that is within his possession because this council, including myself, I I'm going to adhere to it. And so that, that would hopefully suffice when he has a nominee before this council. Yes, sir, I can have one printed out as soon as the meeting's over and, and have that for him. Council, do you have any more questions? Uh, yes. One, one other thing, Mr. President. Go ahead, Chris. No, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm having trouble hearing all of y'all. I can hear Ms. Phyllis real well, so just, is it okay <laughs> if I have the floor for a second? Yes, sir, absolutely. Okay, so um, uh, if we're, if we're going to abide by the city charter to a T uh, for all positions, uh, I think that uh, we need to do that uh, consistently. Um, the city charter lays out other uh, positions and qualifications, and we have seemed to kind of move the goalpost on our own. So, as a um, point of order, we have something the on the agenda we're discussing. We as a point positions. of order, Mr. President, we have something on the agenda, and we are not to discuss other issues that are not on the agenda and, the, and specifically number 11 for the confirmation of public works did you hear that mr smith i did i did i just i since uh we talked about printing out city charter for everybody to have i just wanted to make that statement okay okay thank you council please cast your vote public for comment audience comment I, I did a couple of times okay. okay. just making sure comments from the public council please cast your vote <laughs> did it pop up yep has it popped up for everybody mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Uh, it, it was there and it, it appears to have reset. Do we Can need you to vote again? Go back to the other tab. There's two tabs open. Can you go to the other tab? This one says motion to continue item to August 15th. Yes. Mr. Darby, is yours there? It, it says the same thing. Yeah. Motion to continue item. Yes, sir. I had to type that quickly on there. Yeah, you voted. You voted? What was your vote? Four. Four. <clears throat> Motion carries. The item will be back, brought back up on August 17th. <clears throat> Adopt a resolution authorizing the hiring and promotion of a recreation maintenance worker one and backfill in any position this may create for the Parks and Recreation Department. First and final reading. So moved. Second. <clears throat> Any questions from the audience? Hold on just a moment, Council. Um, who was the second? Mr. Darby. Okay. Any questions from the Council? Council, please cast your vote. Motion carries. Adopt a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign any and all documents required for the creation and administration of the East Bank Cultural District. First and final reading. So moved. Second. Any questions from the audience? Any questions from the council? Council, please cast your vote. Okay, do we have any reports today? No, sir. Any announcements? No, sir. Council, any announcements? Meeting is adjourned.